Do, 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 do. Hey. Good morning. Hey, it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master, and as a coach, it's not 5 a.m. though. It's about 7.41 a.m. here. Um, a little bit later. Again, I take trash out and then kids go to school and then end up kind of get some milk for my coffee. So went to the store. I got my mask. And um, it's Friday. Yay! It's Friday. And it's going to be Fortune Cookie Friday. We have our Fortune Cookie to go through. So today I'm doing a little lighter thing today. I'm not getting all techy, geeky, techy. Uh, I'll save that for tomorrow because I got some things for tomorrow on Saturday. we go over. Um, anyway, it's the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master Scrum Master and Agile Coach. As I said that earlier, didn't I? Yeah, I repeated myself, didn't I? But we talk about Scrum and Agile and how to get work done and value to the customer in a way that you're not working 60, 80 hours a week and that you have a little fun along the way. So since it is Friday, it's been a crazy week. I don't know about it, you guys. For me, it's been a nut, nut week. Um, do something light, you know, and I, and, and what I'm going to talk about, I, put, I said I put I want to talk about movies and retros, and then we're going to do the fortune cookie thing, so we'll keep it kind of small. Um, somebody had posted something on LinkedIn, which I liked, and now I can't find it, of course. I, I, LinkedIn, the search engine, is not the best um, for finding stuff once you like it and, and, and things like that. But it was really good. If you, I tried looking at it, it was like he did a, a 007 retro, and he took it was in for Sean Connery, which I thought was pretty cool. I thought just the idea of doing it, and it spurred on another idea because I don't want to steal his idea. But he did it where he had the different movies that Sean Connery in for James Bond 007, and would use the different titles to represent different things in a retrospective, like. Doctor No, may, maybe, and I'm just making this up because I don't know exactly what I want to see. But as you did the retrospectives and put the stickers up uh, or whatever, the cards, the virtual cards now because we're all in COVID, right? We all got the masks and um, some places are locked down. Sorry about you guys. We'll be there soon probably. Um, where they would put like Doctor No would be places where we needed to say no or something, whatever, however you wanted to set it up. And I thought that was a really pretty clever, interesting idea to make some things different. Where I'm going to twist it up a little bit. I think the concept's awesome. I love the idea of using movies and titles and movies related to the retrospective. And you know how we usually do, like, I, I like to do um, what went good, what went bad. Um, you could do, like, you could do a uh, clinic with good, bad, and ugly, right? Um what is a risky thing and what can we do to um, accelerate the team? So I use those four quadrants, those four items, what went good, well, what went bad, what risk we see in the horizon, because I do think that's important. And um, what do we want to do to help our team vertical, right? To do twice as much work in half the time. So what I thought about was I thought the concept was good. But this is the difference. So rather than me as the scrum master or agile coach for the team dictating what those things represent, what I think would be more interesting, and you have to do a little more facilitation and more planning on this effort, and say, hey, team, I'd like to do something different come um, retro our retrospective day. I'm thinking maybe we, we, we put in some movies that we've seen. We've all been home or Netflix things that we've been watched. I don't know what it would be. And take those movies, and maybe we have these four quadrants that we normally do because I like, sometimes people like to keep it consistent rather than changing up all the time so you can see, are we getting better? And say, okay, what would be like the good? Um, maybe it would be, you know, all dogs go to heaven. Maybe that would be the good one. I don't know. But allow the team to suggest titles. Maybe you do this ahead of time. Okay, everyone, um, before the, the retrospective, send me a bunch of titles that you think would match these four things and then have the team create what those items were, not me as a scrum master. Can I use what I want? Yes, but now I'm dictating and influencing what the group would want to do. By letting them come up with the titles, letting them pick their favorite movies that match the different areas like risk, 
Titanic, you know, bad Jaws. <laughs> that would be bad, right? Jaws, bad Titanic iceberg, you know, and then uh, maybe acceleration would be like, uh, for me, uh, Apollo. I don't know, it's rockets. You know, I got to talk about rockets. So maybe those are my four, but if I came up with them and they had no reference to what my thing was, then it would be there. But what would also be interesting is that people pick these different movies and you can go around the room in the, in the, VT, in the, in the teleconference thing and the virtual world too. And you can have everybody kind of explain why they thought that movie title matched that area on the grid, Right. So now they're getting into it and they're owning the thing. If I gave them the titles, then I own it. I want them to own the titles. Maybe I just give the suggestion, we try something different and let them contribute to building what that retrospective would be. That's the difference between a dictator scrum master and someone who says, get the team involved to shape the outcome of the situation. And that's what we want our scrum masters to be. We want them to help facilitate, encourage, incubate ideas and set up an incubation system, a box. Of, um, my agile coach, he calls it a container, you know, build that container from which them to to grow and to come up with that idea. So that's my idea. So you can do whatever you want. You can do cars. You can do whatever. But rather than you come up what they were, let them tell you what it because it was. And, and I'll give you an example. And I did talk about this a way long time ago in a couple episodes. We had a scrum master who picked the cars and would describe the cars. And people in the other countries had no idea what those cars are because they've never seen one before. So it turned out that we had to go. They didn't. Some of people didn't even have a car. They had a motorcycle or a moped or something or a scooter. Right. Because they couldn't afford a car. Right. It's not a bad thing. I actually wish I had a scooter. If I worked downtown city, I'd have a scooter. But it's just one of those things. It's different. So you let your team generate versus what you think as an individual, as a scrum master. Different take, different thought, but have some fun with the team. Maybe do movies. Maybe go Netflix. Say, hey, you know, we got a retro next week. Hey, if you're going to binge watch or see any things you really like on Netflix or whatever you watch, at home for movies or something or TV shows or whatever. Let's make some votes, put them in. Hey, I saw this movie. I think it's this one. I think it's this one, this movie I like and put it into the retro thing. So now when you say, okay, which one's like Jaws? So which one of issues that we had this week were like Jaws about to eat us and kill us, right? <laughs> it's it's fun. And like, oh yeah, Jaws. Yeah, you know, that story we did the other day, that was like Jaws. That was a total mess up. Okay, we don't want another Jaws. How do we fix this so we don't get another Jaws? I think that's just fun and more entertaining. So where's my whiteboard? Do I have my whiteboard? I eh, still got the stuff from yesterday. But yeah, you could do it. Let's do it. Show on a whiteboard because it will be a good picture, right? So if I were to do my quadrant, right? How much time do we have? We're eight minutes. We're okay. Spending a little more time on this, but this is okay. So I'm going to do my quadrant that I like. I like doing the good, the bad, the risky, and the acceleration. This is just my, you know, I want it to go up, right? And this is sunny. Do, 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 do. This is the bad. And this is risk. She's like mountains, right? So, little mountain. so that's what I usually use for my teams. So if I were to say, it'd be neat, we'll say the good. And I'm going to say, all dogs go to heaven. Heaven, A-N, E-N. Draw a little doggy with a tail. You know, I can't draw a dog. Looks like a cat. Where's Bubbles? Oh, yeah, there's my doggy, right? Go up to heaven. Mm. Bad we jaws. We can draw. We can draw our shark's teeth, right? We don't have to do that because we got our velocity. You know. Jaws. 
Jaws, right? Jaws. Jaws. Risk would be, what did I say Risk was? Um, oh, Titanic. Titanic. And I got a boat. Hey, look, it's, a, it's my retro boat. And then I got a big iceberg. Big iceberg. It's underneath the water. And you know all the unseen risks the iceberg works got on. That's why I like Tank Panic. And then Acceleration Apollo. I think I spelled it wrong. But I'll draw I'll draw the moon. Doo -doo -doo. Here's the moon. Man on the moon, right? And then I'll draw a SpaceX vehicle. I ain't got his little little things there. One thing with the cone. Get little wings here. And I'm going to draw the little three jets. So there you go. So you can do a movie theme for your next retro. I think it would be fun. Got to have some fun. Who went bad? You know, it's just like boring. But anyway, take his idea. We're at the 11 minute mark. So that's my idea. Far from the 007, honoring John Connery, Sean Connery for his uh, career and who passed away not too long ago. He's 90. Hope I live to 90. It'd be fun. I want to live to 132. So that's what I have for that. And with that, we got Fortune Cookie Friday. Let's, I'm a, can you imagine what this Fortune Cookie is going to say? I have no idea. So these are the Agile Counts. Take the fortune. What we do is we take something that's in the fortune cookie that the angel counts it, and whatever the prediction is in here, we compare it to. We talk about it from an agile scrum perspective, and what we talk about on the show. Quality control on this cookie is not too good. Actually, I'm missing part of the cookie, so that's interesting. All right, so I got the thingy. All right. Huh. Interesting. This so I like these fortune cookies. I don't know about you, but they really got this one. Failure is the mother of success. There you go. The fortune cookie says it. That's so agile. That is ridiculous. Failure is the mother of success. The question is, how big of a failure do you make? beauty of scrum and agile and how you make things small and you try things and you make it two weeks you only give yourself two weeks to fail right it's not a one-year failure thing well we think it's going to be this but it's going to take us a year to figure out whether or not this is the right thing in scrum and agile we say hey you got two weeks to figure out whether it's a failure or not and try it out it keeps your risk and your failure small however if you don't try it you will never succeed you will never move the needle Right. So it's better off to fail small pieces and try to see what would happen. Maybe you learn how to write a new way of coding. Maybe you write a new add a new module to your system in your office. Maybe um, try a new coding language, learn a new skill. Every little piece of, you know, maybe a fail, like a fail at doing something. Um, but maybe it's the future of success. You learn from those failures, what worked, what didn't work during that that avenue and sometimes that's okay everybody thinks you have to succeed every time but that's not true um, most millionaires and billionaires and trillionaires they didn't succeed every time they failed a lot they just got lucky and they were in the right spot the right time got everything working together and finally one of their tries succeeded and it was a needle mover right so failure is the mother of success this is so agile and there's so much in tune for what we talk about. So try things out. You may fail, you may not, but it's only like if you only do something for a day or two, it's only a day or two. But at least you tried. What if it's successful when it really works really well and you really like the code? You're going to move that needle, right? But in Scrum and Agile, we're supposed to give ourselves space to fail. It's not just failures, okay? We give ourselves space to fail purposefully like we give ourselves that space so we can try to move the needle always try to make that needle move a lot of places don't want to but that's what you do all right thumbs up we'll get out of here 1455 ring the little bell 
so you get notices. And 15 minutes, our daily scrum is up. Take care. Have a great Friday. Enjoy. We'll see you Saturday and Sunday. Hope everything goes well for you. Take care. Bye. See ya.